The first thing we're going to talk about are Groove files, where you can find your Groove files, and what information are contained within those files. Now, if we go to the Packs section of our Places inside of Live's library, and then navigate to Core Library, this is where we'll find our Swing and Groove folder. And this is where all of our grooves are stored. Now, inside here, we have a bunch of different folders that Live ships with, of different styles of grooves. We have hip hop grooves, Latin percussion grooves, grooves from Logic, and there are even grooves from the famous MPC machines. There are some others that come with it. We can also access our grooves by right clicking on the groove pool and selecting Browse Groove Library, and that will automatically bring us to the swing and groove part of our library. Groove files can be identified with their .agr ending. And what they contain is timing and velocity information. If I click on a groove, we can hear what the groove sounds like. And they're all subtly different. Some at different time divisions. And what we can also do is drag our different files onto a clip inside of Live. Let's take this Clave's groove, and I'll bring it into my session view. And what we get is actually a MIDI clip with MIDI notes of different velocities and different timings. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And if we look closely, we can see that we've got our different MIDI notes. Notice the velocities are different. I've got a Clave's instrument loaded on this track, so let's just play the clip, the groove file, and see what it sounds like. And we get this Clave pattern. I'm going to stop that clip. We could try some different grooves. We'll take the bongos groove. And notice now this is a little bit different. Every 16th note, there is a note. And we've got different velocities, and you'll notice the difference between these two. Let's listen to the bongos now. I'm back to the claves. So even though both of these grooves have 16th notes, the accents and feel of these clips are much different from each other. Groove files can be dragged onto your groove pool and they will show up there. That way they can be used on any clip in your session. You'll just navigate to the clip properties and select your groove. We're gonna take this MPC 16 Swing 67, which will have 16th notes, and we can have a look at what's going on in here. Now as we zoom in, what we're gonna see is that although these are 16th notes, they do not all fall exactly on the grid. And that's what we want our grooves to do, because essentially we're going to be quantizing to the groove rather than the grid, which is the normal operation. So let's just give this clip a listen. And we can hear the definite swing in those 16th notes. These are not straight robotic notes. We also can store grooves in our user library, and these will be customized grooves that we extract ourselves that we want to use at a later date. We simply click on our user library and navigate to the grooves folder, and here you will see any grooves that you've made on your own. And these can come from a variety of sources, and they will have their own special, unique feel to them. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add grooves to your MIDI clips and your audio clips.